Andy Swift has been restoring fire engines for 20 years. It's his passion. So when the events of September 11th happened, Andy decided to help the best way he knew how. We wanted to do something to honor the 343 uh, that perished, and um, this is it. This is a restored 1890s horse-drawn hose wagon transformed into a funeral caisson. It will also be dispatched uh, to do funeral services in the city, you know, for fires, firefighters. Restoring the engine was a big job. First, Andy researched it to find out about its original design and paint scheme. Fire apparatus is, is very, you know, highly decorated. Mm -hmm. um, and this, we have used this style decoration, which is reminiscent of, you know, fire engine decoration. It just As for the actual restoration work, work, it took more than 2,500 hours of meticulous labor. And the moldings new. All this seat is all total new construction. The footboard's all new construction. Andy will tell you all about the restoration, but what he won't do is take all the credit. Like a lot of firefighters have had their hands on this, or if they haven't had their hands on it, they've, they've tr contributed some funds to us so that you know we could buy paint or gold or what have you. We thought about it all, all the time while we were working on it. We're thinking about what it's going to be doing and who it's going to. And it's going to a place where honoring your dead is a sacred tradition. You know, I believe that firefighting is a very noble profession. Um, and what more honorable and noble way to, you know, take your last ride in, in, a, in a, you know, a traditional FDNY um, hose wagon. And uh, it's, it, it's a big deal. In Hope, Maine, Shannon Moss, News Center.